Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alvin, I'm a part-time reseller here in Singapore and today is the 3rd of January 2022. Happy New Year! Today is my first video for 2022 and to kick things off, I'm going to share with you what sold the last week of, basically the last, the last week of uh, December 2021. And partly because I'm a part-time reseller, I don't really get a lot of sales. But when I do, uh, it's quite a lot of, you know, profit. And just to share with you what I sold and then to give you an idea what can sell on eBay as an international seller. And without further delay, let's get right into the deals. First up would be this Hasbro Marvel Legends Wasp. This retro carded one, but I sold it loose. I sold it loose because on eBay the comps were pretty the same if you sell it carded, and because the card was pretty pre pretty big, I'll, I'll show you how it looks like. It looks like this. This is the wasp card that it's supposed to house uh, the, the 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 figure in, and if you send it like this, it's gonna take an effort to basically get shipped without any uh, damages uh, I will put it. I've shipped it before I've shipped the Scarlet Spider uh, which I bought it uh, from someone on Facebook live and then I resold it on eBay for profit but for this I sold it for uh, $24.99 the, the buyer did pay uh, sales tax this was under free shipping I got it through Times bookstore in Singapore for five bucks, five dollars, five Singapore dollars. I don't know how did these got into clearance. I should have bought all of it. To be frank, I wasn't. I was hesitant to get it because I was looking at comps and I didn't really realize. I've already sold the second piece loose. Basically, I tore it off. I preserved the clamshell and then I shipped it in a bubble mailer. And yeah, um, after minusing postage and everything, I got back about ten Singapore dollars. Pretty good for a five dollar deal. Next up will be this Hasbro Cloverfield that I had way back. I kept it in storage for very long. I I actually uh, priced it quite expensive, I put it because the comps were on eBay were all over the place. Um, but of late, why I took a best offer of three hundred fifty US dollars, even though I put it at nine hundred US dollars, is because uh, lately there's quite a bit of sellers selling it, and this. Best offer I took was going to Philippines. Even though the 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 cost for it uh going there it's it's not cheap. The shipping was about hundred over Singapore dollars, hundred and twenty seven if I'm not wrong. It was going all these are going to uh by Q Express. If you are wondering how to use Q Express, you can click this link here. And basically it's I had to take the deal because I just needed it gone. Uh, using volumetric weight, it sold. The buyer paid shipping for 100 US. I just had to move it. I thought I could get more, but oh well, that's that. This was part of my collection. Uh, some of these were part of collection. Some of these were not. They were bought to resell on my eBay. Uh, basically on eBay in 2022, I'm going to start clearing Hopefully everything, I would sell everything by last year. It did not happen because I had way too much toys. And for this, I'm going to go all out. And this year, uh, to do more on my YouTube channel, I'm going to start telling you guys what I sold. Hopefully you guys had a rough idea of how to sell on eBay. And yeah, Colorfield sold at 350 US dollars. The next one I bought quite recent, I think uh, in the month of December. I got it from a person who was selling on carousel he sold me sold this kotobukiya artifacts 17 scale cut captor sakura this pvc figure was an old figure quite old uh, i got it for 70 singapore dollars and it sold at 220 us dollars the buyer did pay shipping the shipping was 50 us dollars so yeah as you can tell the profit my the profit is there this one was a find I had on Carousel in Singapore, and yeah, it it, it sold. I had 
a tough time getting a box to fit it. Didn't really want it to damage it because the the figure box was a bit flimsy. So I had to package quite well. Uh, it went out the door uh, for less than 2kg. So it was a, a, a below 30, 30 dollars, I guess, if I'm not wrong. This item, this steel book I had bought from Shopee. It total, I had quite a bit, I think like close to 10 pieces. I bought it from a game shop in Singapore who was selling on Shopee. Uh, per piece cost was $7. On eBay, there were quite a few sellers selling for $39 US dollars with shipping of $15. And I sold mine. I This one, I just had to move it because I was thinking maybe it was slowing down. But off late, it started picking up again. But for a $7 steelbook, I sold it at I took a best solver. I actually uh, sent some offers out and the buyer took it at twenty three seventy four. So and the buyer also paid shipping was which was fifteen US dollars. It went out the door, I, I sold it I put it in a, a box, bubble wrapped it and then I shipped it out. Again through Q Express. This Hasbro SDCC two zero eight Marvel Legends Savage Land, as you can tell it's a very old figure. Hasbro did not really release it so this it was not sealed i actually opened it and then put it back so it, it wasn't i can't sell it as new so it uh, the buyer we did on a bit and then it, it sold at 200 us dollars with a shipping cost of 50. this kotobukiya marvel legend marvel comics bishouju one seven scale she hawk this was a very interesting find i found it on the facebook live in singapore I got I, I paid up. Uh, I, I, it was a bidding auction. I paid about eighty over Singapore dollars. Then I put it to sell. Uh, I I I sent out as a best offer because the box was quite dingy, as you can tell from the picture. It's quite it's quite uh, it's an open piece, and it sold at one hundred fifty one US dollars. I I did profit a bit, quite a bit. And then the buyer, the buyer paid shipping, 30 US dollars. It went out the door at less than about 20 Singapore dollars. Again, through Q Express. This Master Universe Evil Hot Shadow Weaver. I thought I could get more. I, I sold it at 180 US. Took a best offer on it. Again, it was part of my collection. I had a huge lot of Master Universe figures. This one sold at this price. Uh, pay, buy paid shipping. The next one. This Metroplex Encore. I had it listed for quite a bit. Quite a while. This one went out the door at 300 US dollars. This, if you have the Anchor Metroplex, do think of selling it online instead. Next will be this World of Final Fantasy Maxima. This one was a used piece. This Nintendo Switch game. I bought it from a seller on Carousel. Got it at 40 Singapore dollars. 40 Singapore dollars. And buyer paid 79.99. So, we will shed ten dollar US shipping cost. Last but not least will be this figure. This figure with this accessory as a helmet. It was a under a box set. I had it priced slightly cheaper. I should have checked my comms, but anyway, it's going out the door because I didn't want to do the hassle of selling it again and cancelling the auction. Uh, it, it, another another seller just recently sold it at just under hundred. I sold mine at sixty nine ninety nine. Again, I should have checked the comms. Yeah, so this I'm gonna show you how to pack it. You can pack it either by bubble wrap, but I will prefer to put it in a box, which I bought on Shopee. I uh, in a lot of ten. These were going about forty single, forty cents. So, and a lot is about what, $4, $5. Uh, you just bubble wrap this and then you just place it in and you're good to go. Hope this video helps you guys. I will sign off from here. Thank you all for watching. Uh, do like this video if you find this content useful. And comment down below what have you sold uh, this past week. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you everyone and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.